Have you ever wondered if your 3D printer could cook breakfast? Well, I did, and here's how it went. I started out by removing the glass to remove any additional thermal resistance that the glass and its interface to the aluminum bed would add. Plus, I didn't want to get all my glass dirty since it's my only build plate. Next, I cleaned my aluminum plate with some soap and made sure there wasn't too much soap residue to taint my eggs. Next, I got the printer booted up and started the bed plate heating to 120 C. Keep in mind that this bed heater pulls 1200 watts, which is almost 12 amps. The bed took a few minutes to get to 120 Celsius, but then it was time to crack the egg. Already the moment we've been waiting for. Woo, it's looking good. <laughs> oh yeah. Actually is like cooking better than I expected, not gonna lie. <laughs> you can see it sizzling and steaming. All right, let's see how long it takes to cook this bad boy. I'm gonna get some salt and pepper. I'm gonna do it right. All right, a little bit of salt. And a little bit of pepper. And we're cooking now, boys. Yeah, there we go. What's nice is it's almost like a, a Blackstone grill where you have the uh, real thick thermal mass of the plate. And so it cooks really evenly. You don't have hot spots like you would uh, in a pan or whatever. So this is taking a little bit of time to cook here. So we'll just have to see what happens. So it actually looks like we have a heater fault that happens. So I'm just gonna put it to 115 because 120 might have been too close to its maximum in the firmware. I have to adjust that. So we'll just go to 115. It's at 95 Celsius right now. So I wondered why we dropped in our kind of performance here, but that, that would be why. Now we're working our way back up. Yeah, now we're looking better. sizzling now we're almost done really I mean, this thing's about cooked I think we should do a piece of bacon next I probably should have done that first but I'd say that's pretty cooked I'd eat that the eggs really sizzling now let's get that bad boy off all right time for bacon this might take kind of a while but it may not I'm not really sure here we go This may actually go pretty quick. The rock. Wrong. That is out. A few moments later. All right, I think it's time to give this bad boy a flip. Yeah, there we go. Get to a little bit hotter part of the, part of the plate here. Looking pretty good. I'm gonna continue to move this piece around so we can get some of the hot parts of the plate. Just kinda continue to expose it to that. Not cooking very fast anymore. We're up to 118. I'm not sure what's going on. It's very, very hot. About 250 degrees Fahrenheit or so. If you like what you saw, be sure to drop a like, drop a sub, and let me know what I should cook on my printer next time. Peace.